Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is just going to be a quick prospect video on a Phillies prospect who is part of our roster pool coming into this year, and that is youngster right-handed pitcher Connor Seabold. Seabold is 24 years old. We picked him in the third round, 83rd overall, out of Cal State Fullerton, and in his minor league career so far, According to Baseball Reference, he has a 3.52 ERA, and between all the teams last year, which was rookie ball, single A, and double A, he had a 2.24 ERA in 12 games, but it also has to be pointed out, he's a guy that effectively hits the strike zone. He doesn't have all the ridiculous stuff, but it's important to know he's really came onto the scene and impressed people with how he could hit the strike zone pitching well for the Thrashers, going 4-4 four and four with a 377 in his first year pro in 18. And then this year he had an oblique injury that put him on the shelf at the season's beginning and he didn't come back until late June. But then he looked fairly solid. He struggled a little bit, but then in double A last year, like I said, he did really well in seven games. He went three and one with a 2.25, which is very impressive. He's a guy that he doesn't have eye popping stuff, but he still is finds a way to either pitch guys backwards in some at bats, only having a 90 to 93 at most 94 mile per hour fastball, or he just uses his movement, the ability to throw his off-speed pitches mixed in with his fastball and hit the spots on the strike zone. Seabull is one of those pitchers that's efficient at hitting the spots on the strike zone. He doesn't have that absolutely ridiculous stuff that's going to blow you away and make you go, oh my god, wow. But he's a guy that really knows how to hit that strike zone and limit the walks. He's a guy that I think can be a long reliever even potentially because of his ability to hit the strike zone, which is something that a lot of our Phillies pitchers that have much more electric stuff than Connor Seabold really struggle to do, like Nick Pavetta, Vince Velasquez, etc. All those guys that are more proven, even guys that are younger, like Medina, for example, is one. Those guys aren't as keen yet at hitting the strike zone but they definitely have the better eye-popping stuff. It's just you would prefer in this shortened season, in my opinion, someone that looks like they're more likely to hit the strike zone. And um, his slider is, some people put it at average. I think it has a chance to potentially be above average because he missed a crap ton of bats with it in the Arizona Fall League. Uh, he did amazing in the Arizona Fall League. Connor Seabold, uh, in the Fall League, he only had a 1.06 ERA in four games, and he had one win in those four games, so he was dominant in the Arizona Fall League, and of course, some good hitters go down there, so that's very great to see. I just really like this kid. I like how he's able to hit the strike zone. He's progressed really well for a third-round pick. Some people put him at a 40 to a like 45 for a scout rating. I would say he's right at the middle with the 45 with the highest of being 50. He's an average pitcher for you. But the Phillies need that fourth or fifth potential starter in the future to just be a solid guy that can give them innings and be productive. He has the potential to do that potentially in the future. I'm not sure about this year. That would be more if things don't go right, and I don't think that would be good for our record. What I think he has the chance to be this year is your potential long reliever that if a starter is struggle is struggle bunnying a little bit like Kevin Millar likes to say, then you would go with Seabull potentially if he's looking really good in the pen. I think he's a guy that could potentially, kind of like Kendrick when he came up, be a jack-of-all-trades type guy for you that can be in the starting rotation when need be, but also be your long man and also be okay with that. Uh, and not have some of the issues that Kendrick had, because I know with this rotation, you got Spencer Howard coming up, obviously. You're going to keep, you're obviously going to keep Nola, and you're going to keep Wheeler at the top of that rotation, and then Howard's going to slide into the three. You have Eflin, who's looked really good at times, and then is a guy that I think is really going to do good with this staff. So, 
maybe Seabold's a guy that could slot into your fifth as a solid guy, or Medina's there, or some of the other options we have that are a little bit further out. The Phillies have options there. Now, they're not as eye-popping as other teams. That's why having Connor Seabold come into our bullpen and be able to solidify hitting the strike zone, be able to give us some innings and be a long man, I think that can really help us this year. And from what I've seen with him, I know he's only pitched that double A at his highest level, but just being able to hit that strike zone, he's coming off of the oblique injury, but he really showed out in the fall league last year. I really think this kid has a chance to do something in the majors. He's not going to be the most impressive guy, but he has a chance to be a adequate pitcher in the majors that gives you some innings be it as a starter or a long reliever, and a guy that maybe if he really gets his comfort going can come in at times when you really need to get that out because he's going to, you know, he's going to not draw the hefty amount of walks some of our other bullpen pieces do. So this has been a short video on Philly's prospect Connor Seabold, who we drafted in the third round in the 2016, uh, 2017 MLB draft, excuse me. And this has been a short video on him. I hope you enjoyed it. He's a prospect that I think we're all potentially going to get to see this year because we do lack in our bullpen with depth. And I really think he's a guy that fans are going to like. He's not going to be a guy that annoys people with missing the strike zone like some guys like Garcia and et cetera do that have the great immaculate stuff. They just can't hit the strike zone, so it's pointless to have it. But this has been a short video on Seabold. Have a great day. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Peace out, everybody.